Hello and welcome back to another episode of Lamplighter's League. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Lamplighter's League playthrough where I'm going to play on the hardest difficulty on a Blaine playthrough. It is week number five. And you know what that means. Time for a new mission. So, last time I asked you uh, which house we're going to attack. I think the majority of you will agree that Strum needs to be dealt a lesson. And on top of that, let's assign an agent to get some extra stuff. Latif is uh, the perfect person for that. Can we, by the way, assign another agent here? Good hunting. Hmm. So wait, I could be greedy and let two people uh, do kind of those side gigs whilst we are doing like a full-fledged mission hmm. let me think about that I hope it's worth the time okay well we're going to see if this is going to work out um uh, these the other two are searching uh, we will need all the help that we can get here um, grenade consumable shreds armor deals damage this is a knockdown grenade which we will need cool well we got everything we need uh, let's go and start the mission Two manning this one. Mwah. I don't mind a little trouble. Right. I think it, it goes without way. saying that we cannot miss up the opening. We only have two agents, so we don't have the action economy to fight a large amount of enemies. Oh, nice. Mode of fate. Read material for the oh, cool. Intel. Well, that was very valuable. So anything that is more than two to one in terms of uh, the number of enemies that we're fighting at a time is potentially not going to be in our favor. And we have like what? Three, four, five, six. At least six enemies. Seven, eight. Oh, wow. Well. Okay. Let's hope we can get those three together in one bundle. This here is a, one of the strong enemies. They deal a lot of damage, 75 with their shotgun. We want to get those three together and maybe one of them comes over if we are killing this guy. Yet. No, I was about to click. Getting three of them. Well, now we do have a problem. Now we do have a problem. Houston. Let's start with light them up. One, two, three, four. Good, every single one of them is marked.
continuing to deal as much damage as we can. That was impressive. And that's why Uncle Sam pinned the medal on me back in 18. Guys are not close enough together, that's a bit of a problem. Kill him. Could move back. I think that would work. Let's go. We need to play this aggressive. Alright, one. Now. This is a kill. I regret that it came to this. Get him off balance. The other is won't die immediately. Um, we could use onslaught in order to kill one and get the other one down. Generally not a bad idea. You picked the wrong fight. So that's three down. I think that's as much as we can do in one go. One, two, I don't know if he would fall into the wall. Certainly like this. But not sure. Rather stick and move because I want to make sure that we live uh, to fight another day. He's now blinded, 50% chance to miss. And we get a nice little movement. to here into full cover. Look, for a two-man team, not bad. <clears throat> Almost for me. Almost. Good, we're moving out. And we're just hitting this guy twice. 50 points of damage. Well, nothing to ignore. Good, that's one down. That should be a two for one. That was close Big knockdown. Love it. Good, second kill. Should I picked the wrong target. I wanted to reset and then put evasion on. Okay, I deserve that damage. It's even easier than falling in love. Hmm, 
Okay, well... Look. We gotta reload, right? And we don't have great odds, so might as well... Overwatch. Hit this guy. Good hit. And stick and move. Hit this guy. Get a free movement all the way to here. Which follows uh, with a nice little evade bu uh, buff. Okay. So that should make her move out. The answer apparently is absolutely not. I'm just getting warmed up. Good, nice little crit there. Good hit, 40. And we will go down to two, point, uh, to two hit points. So let's rather do a bit of evasion Take this. I forgot blade storm right. Good. cool let's do a little assessment shall we uh, we're down both of uh, the legendary abilities That was unfortunate, but necessary with the bad pull. And we're down one prep ability. And we killed Let me hold on to this. Uh, quite a few enemies, so I think nine enemies with only two operatives. Well, that's not bad. And we still do have our stun grenade available. Frag grenade here. More bandages, which means Eddie can... Cool your heels. Stop the bleeding. ...completely heal up. You never know, right? Might be a close call. Where well, we need the bandages. Okay, so far we're doing relatively well. Now this is where it counts. We can not afford, I repeat, we can not under any circumstances afford not uh, to get a good rush in. All right, keep it going. There we go. Got some second wind. Uh, I wonder which ability is more important. I think hers. Although, arguably his might be more important because uh, his ability sets up the enemy so nicely. So that she can finish them. Uh, tough, uh, tough this pick. But I think we're just going to use his. We can still crowd control with her. But he just, it's just a flat damage boost for him. Quite significant one actually. Yeah, 
I can use this. Steal the core documents. Well, rooftop outpost. We definitely cannot afford to be lazy with our prep abilities here. Come on, go check it out. You know you wanna. Good, two down. And all there is to do is to get these guys down. Let's hope the second guy is moving in, then we get a two for one. Yep. Right there. Okay, all of our abilities are now uh, completely taken, respectively done. I'll take this. have to wonder was that it or are we looking at more enemies hmm we did a really nice job with um, taking each of them out but you know how it is there is always room for a little bit more Good, where's the escape? Apparently up there. <clears throat> the second part was easier than the first one, which gets to show you really just need to hang in there. Try your best even in the first fight, as the second one might be much, much more favorable for you. Wait here. Cool. I think we're good. And we're home free. Not bad. Now let's get these papers back to lock. And we even got an extra scouting mission in. <laughs> nice. Very good. Did the mission with two. Was greedy and it worked out. Good, we got still six skill points as expected. And we got a couple of cards. The Forsaken. This agent attacks have a plus 10% chance to inflict dazed. Great. Um, buff ability grants inspire to all teammates okay well we have that already the herald let's get dazed this is not the family I envision for myself but perhaps I will make do sure let's get some more lamplighter's activity 
minus one threat so strum really has a problem we got more supplies and special materials more supplies and ammunition cord activity Good, Nicastro now does have a little bit of a situation here. I wonder, could we have gotten multiple missions? Uh oh, look, everyone, hmm. the boss is smiling. Hmm. Should I be scared? Far from it. My suspicions were correct. The keystone confirms it. I know how to destroy the banished court. With the knowledge I've gained from the keystone, I am assembling an atropic device. Think of it as the blade that will sever Nicastro, Strom, and Marto from the Bright Storm. Mm -hmm. When the device is complete, you will carry it into the tower, into the storm, where it will render the Scions vulnerable and powerless forever. It can't be that easy, or someone would have tried it already. Each house has a catalyst from which it derives its magic. The atrophic device needs samples of all three. Strom's is a crystal called Red Sulfur. The burning mummies you thought were examples of his handiwork. Okay. The Castro calls hers abyssal nectar. This strange elixir grants her visions of the devouring king, a dead god that dreams beneath the waves. Marto's is known as Persephonite, a miracle metal with otherworldly properties. The secret to all of Marto's inventions. Okay. That stuff won't be easy to find, much less steal. No, it won't. No one has ever found where the houses keep their catalysts, much less gotten their hands on a pure, undiluted sample. That's why I need you. Thieves and con artists, scoundrels and killers willing to pick locks and cut throats to dirty their hands, people who don't play fair because they know there is just another word for dead. Well, that uh, sounds a bit shady. Look, explores uh, the kind of gray areas. To scour the globe to find my enemy's greatest treasures. Steal a sample of each and bring them back to me. I will. To defeat the court, no price is too high to pay. Agents, we have no time to waste. Let the search begin. Okay, before we do that though, how about we're checking what we can get. Mechanical item, self buff, accessory, passive, melee attacks gain a 33% chance to reduce cooldowns by one. I like that. And self uh, buff, passive. Um, the agent, upon using a buff or debuff consumable, agent regains one ability point. Action point. That'll be two consumables for every single agent. That's also quite good. Hmm. Difficult choice. They do have a lot of interesting stuff. So I will say we're going for hidden compartments, mainly because I want that nice adamantine lining. And we're just going straight down. Uh, but yeah, that is a great reward. Which nicely brings us to the supplier. Buying another set of armor. Let's make something. And now our agents can actually carry two items. Cool. That indeed was worth it. And we're picking up another armor. And we got three armors going for us. That's not bad. Let's take a look at the skills. So I think I wanted extra speed for her so that she can uh, get closer to the enemies. Max stress, max hit points. This is extra speed after 
uh, using stick and move, which we might take as well. This is the second blade storm. Um, cooldown reduction isn't bad as well. I really like it, but I think we're just going to go for a speed, to be honest. And then onslaught into killer instinct or onslaught into actual weapon upgrades. Increases damage is never a bad idea. Because then she can easier kill enemies, right? Mm, difficult. Shall we get the speed? Or shall we rather get the onslaught and then we're already ready for kind of the ultimates? We just need two missions and we could get the big fat weapon upgrade. And then Killer Instinct 3, which is 7% damage upgrade. We that's a lot. Hmm. Yeah, we're going here. This requires a brain of sorts or a magical thing of sorts. I don't know if we're having that already. That's Sir. Hmm. We might need to be able to grab that first, but we can definitely get Killer Instinct. So that's not uh, off limits for us. And we have invested a lot into her. But to be fair, her passive ability is just crazily good. So getting um, her skill, uh, getting the skills in her skill tree, is actually quite helpful. Um, once we have gotten that, the question, and we're definitely going to get hot pursuit as well. Question is, what are the other um, buffs here? So for starters, every single node gives you damage and hit points. That in itself is already great. Max stress isn't bad. Um, now stick and move also can cause a knockdown that is actually quite good as well and if she crits uh, regularly with her increased crit chance then of course cooldown reduction isn't bad as well two times per round uh, melee overwatch that's good I think all of the skills are actually quite palatable, but I would say we're going to get those, then the weapon upgrade whenever possible. Hot Pursuit seems like a good uh, no-brainer investment, and the others are okay, but we gotta see what else is on uh, the table. I think for our healer, which is the second one that we're investing quite heavily, she got uh, the Blast ability, uh, which is good, I like it. Mm. And reduces the cooldowns of everyone and then her attacks can reduce her cooldowns that's fine I don't know if I <clears throat> totally like um, the restore 3 ability this here is already fantastic only thing that is uh, going to change is the AOE radius which isn't as much of a game changer I might be underestimating it but that's just my gut feel at the moment This here is a good ability. I think we're going to skill that one because it is essentially free healing. You get one AP whenever you use an ability or consumable to heal a teammate. Uh, that will make her um, AOE ability free effectively, her signature ability. Yeah, she could also improve her damage, but I don't think that she's a huge damage dealer, to be entirely honest. Nah. She mainly give. <clears throat> she mainly already has her uh, fantastic abilities, which is motivate. Uh, and now it's more a question of how does she reduce her uh, cooldown so that she can motivate others more often, and that is either upon killing enemies, which. Um, justice would do or uh, just normal attacks a 50% chance so I guess these here 
are the next skills that we're getting just out of principle um, but we're first going to invest further into Ingrid that's at least my idea good building the atropic device once a heist is complete and the catalyst sample is safely in Locke's hand he'll add it to his sign uh, killing atropic device agents cannot enter the tower until the device is complete no one said it it'll be easy but there is no more heroes left to send okay okay so i think we're going to um, give a small glimpse on what's going to happen the next time we got a um, expedition mission agent recruitment mission ally recruitment mission dig around the region for potential new recruits oh, that's not bad dig around the region for potential new recruits so that's setting us up for new recruits and let's see so marteau here would give an accuracy talisman and some skill points okay firebomb skill points and some intel yeah that's against nicastro fuck that guy and yeah i think this here is a good one it dials back the clock of nicastro so we're definitely going to do that and potentially oh, this will cost us something can we do two agents at, at once I think the answer is no uh, two missions at once i would even play two parallel missions to counter what they are doing mm -hmm. what would graymore do good i'm going to figure that out until the next time thank you so much for watching if you enjoy the lamplighter's leak then now is a great moment to tell me which of the four characters so far has left the biggest impression uh, with you and see you on the next episode take care guys bye bye